All right, hello and welcome to another mindfish.com hard math question um, video. So we're going to be basically looking at one of the hardest math questions from the official guide to the SA, or official SAT study guide. So as I've said before, strongly recommend that you buy this book. Um, great practice resource, however, not there aren't explanations for the questions, so that's what we're basically doing here. We're going through some of the hardest math questions in the book and hopefully helping you get a grip on how to do these guys. So this question is a volume slash um, spatial question relating a sphere and a cube. Okay. Now, unfortunately, an equation that really makes this question easy isn't an equation that is given um, in most textbooks and in most SAT study guides. It is in our coordinate geometry section, and I call it three-dimensional distance, and essentially that's what we're going to use to solve this. But before we jump into that, let's just look at the question and understand what we're dealing with here. It's a cube with a volume of eight cubic centimeters is inscribed in a sphere so that each vertex of the cube touches the sphere. What is the length and diameter of the sphere? So the first thing we have to deal with is this volume, eight cubic centimeters for a cube. So a cube is just essentially a perfect square, you know, like a die. So the volume of a cube is length times width times height, but in this case, they're all the same. So it's edge times edge times edge. So that's eight. So that is going to tell us that the edge equals two. Now, a lot of people don't even get through this part and one of the reasons is, is that they don't write things down. So on all hard questions, if you're not sure what to do, write something down. Write the volume of a cube down, and you would automatically kind of find out what the edge is. So now we, not, now we know what the edge is. Now it says that our cube is inscribed in a sphere. So I'm not the greatest artist in the world here, but I'm going to try to give you an idea of what this looks like. The idea would be that the cube would just touch just at these outer points. So it would only touch kind of at those ex uh, extreme points. Now what they're asking us for is the diameter of the sphere. And if I draw this a little bit better, essentially we could see that the diameter of the sphere is going to be the diagonal through the cube. And this is very common, this, this, uh, this whole idea of what's the diagonal. So a diagonal is essentially a three-dimensional distance. If you don't want to do 3D distance, you could basically look at this as Pythagorean theorem twice. You would do Pythagorean theorem with this side and this side in order to get this side, and then we do Pythagorean theorem with this side and this side in order to get this side. Personally, I just think that's too much work. So what I'm going to do here is just say that diagonal, which is really a three-dimensional distance, is going to be the square root of the change in x squared plus the change in y squared and notice, that's just two-dimensional distance formula. That's what you'd use any time you're getting the distance between two points on a coordinate geometry plane. But now, since we're dealing in space, we just have a z. We just add our z distance. Now, since it's a cube, the length, width, and the height are all going to be 2. This just becomes the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared, which is going to be equal to the square root of 12. 4 goes into 12, so I can take out a 2, and this becomes 2 square root of 3, which is going to be answer choice D. Now, once we knew that the edge of the cube was 2, and we're looking at this picture, we wouldn't be willing to pick this. Okay? And the square root of 6 and the square root of, uh, of 2.5, you know, those are reasonable, but honestly, this is the one that, to me, looks like the most reasonable answer. So if I was estimating, at least it would probably be one of these two. Um, another thing to kind of consider here is that until we wrote this equation down, we really didn't get any tangible data to use. So again, if you're on a hard question, you're not sure what to do, write an equation down, draw a picture, and your brain will have something to use, something to work on to get you to that next step, to get you working through and eventually to get you to the right answer. Okay? Now, this question was a cube. Sometimes these could be rectangular um, sh uh, solids, in which case, it just becomes the change in length squared plus the change in height squared plus the change in width squared. So it'd still be just each dimension squared if you're moving across the diagonal of a rectangle. So hopefully this will help you out in some future hard uh, three-dimensional coordinate geometry questions and hope to see you at some of our other YouTube um, hard math question videos as well as at mindfish.com. Thanks. Mindfish.com will help you ace the SAT. Practice for the test with SAT Quest, our online SAT quiz game with over 1,500 practice questions. Learn difficult SAT vocabulary words with short, 
funny and memorable vocab clips on video vocab. We've got test prep pros from Harvard and Stanford standing by to give you the test prep guidance that you need. Master every concept on the test with SAT videos. Mindfish.com, your resource for all you need to ace the test.